Yo, what's up everybody? So I just wanted to discuss the current TV market. And if you're wanting a absolutely stellar picture, go for the last year's models. This is the Sony Z8H. And if you're wanting a TV that's 8K upscaling, super bright, but without paying the crazy prices for the Z9J, this is the one to get. And there are plenty of deals to be had on these. Best Buy puts these on demo or uh, open box, and they're wanting to get these out of the store. That's what I did on this one, negotiated it down a little bit, and it is just an absolutely stunning picture. And you're gonna say, oh, well the Z9J is so much better. No, it's really not. Um, this just doesn't have the Master Series label. I've had the Z9F, which was a Master Series. Great TV, but if you just dial in some settings yourself, or maybe even you know get it calibrated, this thing is going to look phenomenal. So if you're wanting a, a 75 inch for, I think I got this for about 2,500 bucks, go to Best Buy or uh, use the search function and see what they have. Maybe ask around uh, your Best Buy, see if they have any Z8Hs that are open box. Because it is hard to do better than what you're seeing right here. As far as LED TVs. I mean, it's just the clarity, the clarity, let me zoom in a little bit, it's just stunning. There's a window in the background, but ignore that. I, I we just loved having this TV. It's got that Sony look, beautiful picture. So I'd say if you were looking at the Z9J or maybe something even more expensive or in this price range for a premium 8K TV, get the Z8H before it's gone. Because to me, the price difference does not justify paying for the Z9J. That's just crazy. I think it's like, I don't know, what, six or $7,000 for the 75 inch. It could have come down, I don't know, but I know it was that price at one point. And Sony's are so color accurate anyways, it's, you know, the Master Series calibration is probably not necessary. Anyways, that's all I got. Everybody have a good, great weekend, and Insane X are out.